hey darlings welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video so today's video is the continuation of infertility with dr gordon atto guys Doug is a member of Fertility Society of Ghana in India and he is also a member of European Reproduction and Embryology. He's also a former medical administrator at Pentacles Hospital Madina Estates and he is a fertility specialist at Chosen Hopeful and Fertility Center. So guys, in our previous video, Doc talked about the causes of infertility in men and women. Guys, Doc made us understand that 30% of the infertility are caused by men, 30% are also caused by female, 30% are from both man and woman, and then 10%, we don't know the actual problem with it. So... We'll leave the link down below at the description box so if you haven't watched that video you go and watch it so you understand this infertility issues more so today we are moving on with how lifestyle or environment affects infertility and whom should we blame when it comes to this infertility issues is it a man or a woman kindly stay tuned and watch this video to the end to know everything about it you know dog is the busy type so i needed to do the intro in the car before i go and meet dog up there so guys let's go and then go straight into today's video okay so kindly do like this video share comment down below at the comment section thanks to you all god bless you if i'm able to get you right i heard of the 30 percent from the female same 30 percent for our dear male 10 percent mm -hmm. unknowingly mm -hmm. and 30 percent from a combination of male and female factors uh, okay so making 100 yes. all right mm -hmm. thanks so much doc so we are moving on to the next and um should one gender be blamed for this so now since we already know that 30 30 and 30 for both there is no need to blame you one see, gender let me, for let me let me ex let me add a little to that okay. because of where we find ourselves okay. so and most of the time the women are blamed for infertility issues and the in-laws keep piling pressure on, on them. them society keep piling pressure on them um they go to church and then it's like uh, and next year by this time okay. bad day. but I hardly hear anybody praying for the men anybody praying for I mean the in-laws putting pressure on the men so it's as if it's only women that have fertility problems but that is not the case sometimes you, you find people arguing that even in the Bible when Sarah was not giving birth Abraham took Sarah's maid and had children with them. So it means that fertility issues are women's <laughs> issues. But it is, not, it is not. It equally affects men. And in this time we live in, a lot of the time the men know, but they are in denial. Oh, okay. You see, and they allow the women to go through all sorts oh. of pressure from family members, from society, and all that. So I think that we should also equally put the blame squarely at the doorstep of the men. But this is a couple issue. There are situations, like I told you, unexplained infertility. Some of them, the women go their way, the men go their way, they go and have children. But when the two come together, they are unable to have children. Mm -hmm. These are some of the reasons. But I don't think the fertility is a woman's problem. It's equally a man's problem. And if it is true that the man is the head of the house, then he should stand up when it comes to fertility issues. And he should lead the way. They shouldn't leave it for the women and think it is the women who want yeah. to have children. The men must be men enough to stand up and lead the way because the problem could be coming from them. Okay, okay so um, does the... Um, environmental and the lifestyle that like the environment and the lifestyle to affect fertility yes there are some uh, environmental factors that affect fertility for example when you live in an area that is polluted um, these days we are talking about uh, 
biological pollutions from you know computer um, wastes and all that they have a potential of affecting semen production as well as affecting uh, the egg pr production so it affects both ways oh, okay. sometimes pesticides can also reduce um, your ability to produce semen and also produce um, eggs it is also known that when you know it is in God's wisdom that the man's testicles should hang outside of the body so that it doesn't attain the same temperature yeah. as the yeah. body you, are, you know what mm -hmm. so when men wear very tight clothing which keeps the testicles close to the body it affects sperm production in the long run because the testicular temperature becomes almost equal mm -hmm. to the body's temperature which God did not create it that way Okay. So it is not good for men to wear tight fitting underwears and clothing. Mm -hmm. It can affect and then exposure to radiations. I mean x rays and that's why if you work in such environment there are protective gears that you need to wear as a man or as a woman to protect some of these vital organs because if you work within that environment and you are not protected it can affect you so there are environmental causes okay. which and then sometimes the drugs we take some of them have the potential of affecting especially those treating cancers and those using steroids yeah they can affect uh, egg production as well as sperm production oh, okay. okay thanks so much for watching this video i hope you have really learned something new in this video today now next video Doug will talk about the psychological effect on infertility in both couple okay so watch out for that kindly do subscribe like share comment down below at the comment section and we'll leave dog's contacts down below at the description box so you can contact dog if you have any um question or you want to see dog in person then dog will dog will help you solve all your problems when it comes to infertility okay so this is all for today see you in my next video it's bye